All right, well, something I don't think many of us were expecting, the Maple County Fall update is here. It was supposed to be the summer update. So many things, such as a new county, um, a new DOT team, a new mail team, uh, a new state trooper team, and a new fire and rescue team, I think. I don't know. Um, lots of new buildings and areas ready for you to explore. And I think this is crazy big. Starting off with the two times map expansion, there's a whole new area of the map and there is a city of the city of Hanover is the new addition with many, many places to explore, such as nature options like uh, sports. Um, there's new gun shops, new houses, new buildings, so much places to explore in this new city. There are new bridges. There's even a river. The courthouse has new interiors. Would make nice for some new courthouse role plays, um, considering that it's all brand new and and you can see it has a little seal of the state of Oakland, um, little pendant on it. So I think that's pretty cool. There's all new banks in Hanover and Oakland, um, so there is two banks and both of them I believe are robbable. At Postal One Zero Zero Nine, you could find the British International Development Bank. Um, you can go into an elevator. I don't know where this actually takes me. There's two floors. Um, that's pretty cool. Well, it brought me to a bunch of like uh, desks and stuff. I don't really know, but still pretty cool though. It's another interactable building, even though you can't really do anything on these computers. All right, so I found the little uh, van woman um, and I never ever wanted to become part of my criminal enterprise. This is inside of Oakland. This is part of the new map. Um, he's basically gonna give me heist equipment so I can go rob the- Seriously? Okay, I'll buy it. Okay, Maple County. Take my Robux, okay? Take my Robux now. Give me the C4s. Alright, well, you won't- You guys won't get to see me rob the bank because I think it's a little bit broken, but I did buy it in a private server. I don't know, but just know you can rob the bank. Alright, so something that is new is, uh... You can actually crash into cars and then it goes on fire. So I'm going to head on, collide with this cruiser. Boom. Um, and as you can see, the vehicle health went down to 79%. If I just do it a few more times, it's going to um, basically explode. And as you can see, it's literally smoking right now. Um, there we go. We got 20%. One more huge hit. Boom. And I got kicked out of the vehicle, ragdoll, and then the um, entire car's on fire. Oh, his car's on fire, too. That's crazy. RLC's got to get that. That's good for, like, people who don't know how to drive. What is this? I don't even know what this... I don't know what this place is. Okay, it's a car wash. That's... I, I've never seen a car wash that looks like this. That's so fancy. And then I believe this is one of the new gas stations, Elk Trip. Um... We're currently in, obviously, the new city. So, from what I know, everything above here is new, pretty much, where my mouse is going. Um, and then, obviously, we're in here. Pretty detailed, actually. Let's go get some chalky milk, if you know, you know. Alright, so we are on the new team, Oakland State Police. Um, and we can just throw on a bunch of our um, clothing and then deploy. And it comes with a pretty cool building. Um, I'm not going to get any weapons or anything like that. Let's find the dealership. Here we go. All right. So there's a whole bunch of new cars. Um, ooh, 2019 Silverhand. That's pretty cool. That's a cool truck. Um, apparently, the Taurus is dead last. I don't know why. Um, I think personally that the Oakland State Trooper team is probably going to be the best team. You do have to have 25,000 XP in order to play it. Um, unless you get onto a private server that has it unlocked for you, or if you have your own private server. Um, but 25,000 XP is the, uh, minimum XP required. Unfortunately, that's how it is. OSP also comes with this cool new building with a very nice design. Um, watch out for state troopers, because I know they do not play any games. Also, be careful, because there is now, uh, parking meters. If you leave your car unattended while you're parking... Permit, I guess, is not paid. You will be cited. Also, don't leave your car abandoned in the streets because you can also get cited after a certain amount of time. 
inside the new post office job um there are two new vehicles the 2002 step van and a 1994 mail van um comes with this awesome awesome um plot of land that is massive in uh, side of fairfield all right so inside the postal office um there is the thing called available jobs and you look at the delivery timings once the time comes the trucks will spawn under these doors basically go into the truck and load the things and put them on the little um shells we have here all right so um you will have a tool um called the postal parcel i think that's what it's called and then you go ahead and scan the boxes that you put on the shelves um and then it does give them a little bit of a code on top onto the top so you keep scanning until all the boxes are on the second shelf then you can use the little tiny trolley to load up the packages um in case they're heavy weight you can just put them down on the pallets once you filled your pallets up you can go ahead to the warehouse and go grab a forklift and then you can drive the forklift into the other section of the building to go grab a pallet so you can uh, go ahead and take all of the non maple county uh pallets to the maple county postal service warehouse and then you can take the maple county pallet which is the one all the way at the end here and you can go ahead and load it into your mail van after you scan it to your manifest so once you get them to your mail van make sure to add the boxes to your little manifest on your um little work phone i did make a mistake uh you do have to um unfortunately go ahead and load these packages onto one of the trolleys all right so you can go ahead and drop your pallet there and then make sure you are the one who manifests these boxes that you can actually load it up into the trolley because if you don't manifest it it's going to say this box is owned by someone else um but the ones you do you can um load it onto your trolley and once you got it just uh put the trolley down and then you can eventually load it into your mail van so on your parcel, you can um, go to and click the next button, the green next button, once you have your items manifested and inside of your mail van. And then you can obviously see the routes that you have to take. I'm guessing I'm going to house number 2007. Um, and then, cause obviously I only have two items. So, and then you can scan your package to sign off delivery once you've brought them to the house. All right, next up, we have the Maple County Public Works team, aka DOT. Um, has some pretty cool uniforms here to select from. You got a bunch of reflectives, some jackets, and hoodies. I'm going to go with the hoodie, because why not? Um, who is this bald guy? Let's go to the car spawn. Let's see what we got. So we got a garbage truck here, because there's actually a waste um, unload place, whatever. I don't know what you call it. Um, yeah, landfill. 2010 uh 350 flatbed a 2018 f-150 2020 f-450 2020 uh dump truck and a 2020 flatbed so two flatbeds um a dump truck a garbage truck two well f-150 f-450 you got tow trucks flatbeds and garbage truck pretty pretty much and then this one's just for the i guess normal road work um, it does come with this cool Maple County Department of Public Works over by what you can call the docks. Of course, it's in uh, Fairfield as well. If your car does get impounded, you can come over here to unimpound it as well. Because I know a lot of people, your guys' car gets impounded. It happens to me a lot in ERLC, so I'd assume it'll happen a lot here. So if you do have um, one of these trucks with the bed you can actually have access to all the different tools you got a stop sign a shovel was a chainsaw some sort of drill here toolbox sledgehammer a jackhammer a fuel and then what is this like to push like rocks and like asphalt whatever you can push with it i guess uh light pickaxe pretty cool items and then obviously here there are placeables a bunch of dot placeables for you to place and there are 30 different variants of this sign i guess so i can 
change it to whatever I want. There's so much options to choose from, though. That's pretty cool. Road close 500 feet. Road close 1,000 feet. Utility work ahead. Um, new traffic pattern ahead. Uh, right lane closed half a mile. Let's do that one. Or let's do the stop sign one. Cool. And then here's this one, which is what a square sign you just it changes sizes as well once you do that so there's i guess there's 29 variants of this 30 variants of the cones let's try that one well i don't know if this one's bugged but okay there we go it was i think that one was bugged but yeah pretty cool there's a whole bunch of tools um the number here is just the max you can put down for all these um but still you can change these signs um very cool pretty much to whatever you want I don't know if you can do anything with any of these tools, maybe just for roleplay um, purposes, but still pretty cool. Nonetheless, this flashlight does work, but it is daytime. Um, pickaxe is invisible. If you guys do try out this team, let me know if you can do anything with about all these tools. All right, so we're going to try to um, tow this car here. So let's open the controls. You can like edit the winch, put the car on top. Oop. Okay. Well, I, I guess that makes it go down. And you can go ahead and hook. So let's uh bring the winch down. Grab the winch up here. Um, I don't know where you add it. Okay, he has to accept the request, and then uh, you put it on the wheel. Thank you. Um, attach both of them. Perfect. And then, what, do I go back to the controls and hook? Okay, so you hold this thing, you pull the car onto the bed, and then, I guess for Roblox or whatever, just press the hook button so it stays in place. Okay, and then you go ahead and cancel the winch. Um, well, I gotta do it for both wheels. And then one final step is you can... Oh my gosh, what just happened? Alright, well... It'll bring the bed up slowly. And then I think you're good to go. So, Mr. Ryan, towing your vehicle, hop in. Let's go. You're in trouble. All right. So, here's this impound drop off. And then when you drive in here, I don't know what to do. Maybe you just have to release the car down inside. I don't really know. And you just. Well, I don't know how this works. So, RIP. But I did bring it to the impound lot. Much like in the post office, um, there's an available jobs board and you should see papers. For some reason, it's not spawning for us here in our private server. Um, but I will get my tomorrow's video will be on an in-depth tutorial, basically. So I'll show you guys how to do that. If you guys want to try to figure out yourself, um, spawn a garbage truck and head over here. Jesus, this is a long video, but... Um, we have one more team to check out, which is Maple County Fire and Rescue. I believe this one is located inside of Oakland. This is the new fire department team. There is Fair Fairfield Fire Department. Um, and this one has new uniforms and stuff like that. Let's just grab this blah, blah, blah. Um, once again with the little fire department beds. Pretty cool. Um, it's a much smaller station, obviously, but it has really nice interior stuff like that. We can lift weights if we wanted to. Yeah. Get the pump in. Um, or go down the pole and refill tanks. Pretty much everything you can do in the other um, fire department. Let's take a look at the cars, though. Because um, they do have all new liveries. I don't know which cars are new or not. Um, so that's for you guys to see. Um, so let's unlock that. Also, I forget to mention, though. Um, all of these, like... Um, for like the DOT team and the OSP, there's all types of customization. So if you guys have it, you might want to check it out. There isn't a ladder truck though, because this is a little more convenient, I would say. Um, so if you need a ladder truck, you might want to call up Fairfield. But um, I, I think this is pretty cool. This whole town in itself reminds me of like an old fashioned, just like Springfield. It's crazy. Um, and it's crazy nice too. I really love this entire update let me know what you guys think about this update tomorrow i'm definitely going to be releasing um an in-depth video on literally everything in this update um because this is massive this is like 
um, a three times summer update expansion, whatever you want to call it. So it's pretty, pretty nice. And then if you're inside of the new city, which this is the new city, look for this building. It doesn't have a logo on it, unfortunately. So um, that sucks, but it is what it is. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know which part of this update was your favorite. Let me know if I did miss anything crucial because I try to cover all of the major points. I've been recording for about two hours now. Um, so hopefully you guys are all going to enjoy this. Be prepared for tomorrow's video. Um, shout out to the Maple County devs. They've been working hours and hours and hours and months on this update. Um, and I think it's well worth it. Go check it out now. I'll leave the link in the description. And I'll see you all in the next one.